What's good, everybody? It's Cashflow Next the Channel of Trading, Faith, and Wealth, and I welcome you guys back to this channel where we give you XRP analysis, and we will be going over XRP with Ichimoku. So if you guys are new to this channel and you like what you see in here and feel compelled to sub hit the subscribe button, I'm about doing it right now, and hit the bell for notifications for future content, all right? I'm trying to give you guys daily XRP videos except for sunday i'm not doing it on sunday unless i feel compelled to but i do want to give you guys daily xrp videos because i think you guys deserve it and people have requested it in my last video i'm going to link my last video on my xrp analysis in the comment section so you can check it out not only that xrp did exactly what i said it went up by one percent not really a big deal but it still went up, like I said, when I'm going to show you guys today in my analysis. But before we go over any type of analysis, I always want to give God glory and praise and honor on this channel. I don't have a scripture for you guys, but I do want to make a prayer for everybody that's watching this video. So if you're watching this video, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for your family. I'm pray praying for anything that you're going through because these are dark times that we're in. A lot of things are getting exposed. Trump's exposing a lot of things in politics. Whether you agree with him or not, he's doing some things that a lot of presidents did not step up to do. I could say, you know, exposing the sex trafficking with the kids. He's exposing, uh, you know, what, what, what's, the, what's that big one that he's exposing? He's, he's really exposing the Democratic Party for what they really are. But that's a topic for another day because I know some of you guys don't like Trump. And I know some of you guys do like Trump that watch my channel. I just like the facts. I stick with facts because facts is what people need to lean on, not by their feelings. Feelings only get you so far, so I do want to put that out there. So before I get into this video, I want to pray for you guys. I want to just do a light prayer, and then we'll start the video. So Heavenly Father, I thank you for everybody that's watching this video. I give you glory. I give you honor. I give you praise, and I give you thanks for this precious hour that you allowed me to come and make this video for the watchers and the viewers, Father God. I ask that you bless everyone, Father God, with what they need and what they desire in their hearts, Father God. Whether they need a peace of mind, whether they need a, a, just a word of encouragement, or whether they just need love, or a, a sign of love, Father God. As, Father God, only you could show us that love, that, that real genuine love that we need, Father God. I thank you for what you're doing in this season. You're revealing the truth to us. Whether we accept it or not, I just ask that you continue to open the eyes of the people. Continue to bring peace to the land. Bring a revival to the land like we've never seen before, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Let us not just be idle in, what we, in this season, but allow us to walk with wisdom according to your word. And I ask you that you continue to guide us by the spirit and not by our feelings, Father God, so we are able to discern from the truth from lies and deception that, that the, the world's trying to, you know, push the agenda of the uh, demonic things that are coming, Father God. I ask that the kids that are being taken, Father God, that are being sex trafficked, that you protect them, that you immediately expose the people that are, that are, being, that are doing that, these things to these children, Father God. Expose the politics. Expose everything. Because you said everything that's in the dark will come to the light, Father God. So I ask that everything that's hidden, come to the light and you said ask, ask and you shall receive and may it come true in jesus mighty name amen you guys i'm sweating over here if y'all don't know <laughs> i just got done doing a boxing sex uh sex section uh session and i my ribs are hurting right now so i'm trying to do this video video as best i can i'm just fighting through the pain right now because i got hit with some good shots but uh, it was just light work, no, no, uh, no headshots today. We didn't have headgear or no mouthpieces, but we did have, uh, you know, just gloves and just grit today, just hitting body shots today. I'm still sweating. I, I did get out of the shower, so that's probably another reason why I'm sweating. Um, I'm sweating quite a bit. But anyway, let's just jump into this analysis. I know you guys are waiting for it. I appreciate you guys for staying through the prayer. So I'm going to start this video now on XRP analysis. All right, here we go. All right, so looking at XRP on the weekly time frame, XRP is still strong. Uh, we had we held the 17 cent level, like I said we would. This is just the accumulation level or the distribution level that's going on right now. Uh, 
we have a lot of buyers and sellers in this area. So whoever gets the breakout to this side, if we get a breakout to this the upside here, let me draw this out for you guys. This is literally what could happen during this current time. So we could get this move or we could get this move. This is what happens when you get accumulation and distribution levels like this. So right now we're just waiting on to see how this weekly candle closes. We have a day left in two hours before this candle closes. So right now on the weekly time frame, this is literally what could literally happen. This could literally happen, be the move that could happen. Uh, just going based off the weekly time frame, we have good momentum here. Uh, looking at the RCI, you know, RCI is not looking too pretty on the weekly because it's showing that we're in a bearish market. But we do have that upward momentum right here. So we had, let's see, right here. We had this impulse. This is the, uh, we had, no, let me rephrase that. We had this rally. Now we have our base. Now we're either going to get our drop or our, our, our next rally. So we got our, so I'm leaning towards the, the rally base rally. So if we get that rally here, I would definitely, you know, to even get that next rally, we have to get above the 22 cent level according to the weekly chart. And then after that, the fight here at 23 cents will take us up to this level here in the 34 cent zone. So that's what I see for the weekly, but that's not set in stone. Let's go down to the daily time frame. Let's check out what's going on here. We are getting some good signs on the daily time frame. We might get a slight pullback to probably 19 cents, maybe. Just because the Kijun is pretty far. Let me make sure. Kijun is pretty far from price, so that's not a good sign. So it, it's not a bad sign, but it is a sign that's saying we could still pull back here and then continue to the upside. We are getting some uh, Kumo twist right here, so it's starting to turn bearish. What I do see here potentially happen that we start ranging in these levels or so something like this until we get outside the cloud. This is what I'm really paying attention to, the Chiku Span. This is our lagging indicator. It's uh, probably the most underused, underrated uh, aspect of Ichimoku. We need this line above the cloud here for prices to go higher. So we do need that. Now looking at it on the four hour chart, Actually, let me go to the one hour chart. So yeah, let me show you guys, I said in my last video, and you can watch it for proof, I said that we will come up here, and once we get up here, I expect prices to either break it or start to range and drop again. And like I said, it did exactly what I said, and they start coming down and ranging here. So I'm going to take this off the table. Right now, it looks like we're still holding we got a bearish cross, but that doesn't matter right now. We got a bullish cloud. Price is just ranging inside this cloud right now. So I don't see nothing bad here. Now, this is what I do see as well, zooming out. Let me go ahead and take off the cloud for you guys so you guys that are not familiar with the cloud can understand. This is what I see right now. Whoa, wait. All right. So right here, this is what I see right now currently. So this market is holding this trend line here to the upside. And it looks like we just got a bounce off this level. So we might be actually moving higher. We had this rally here. I'll show you this. We had this rally here, made this in wave range, made a smaller in wave here, and then dropped. So now we're just holding this this uh, trend line here, this level. So we need to, you know, right now we got that bounce. We need to get above this current level. Otherwise, it's just gonna be ranging in here again. You know, either do something like this or a break down to 19 cents and range between here and here. So that's what I see right now, as of now. Uh, I'm not gonna call any move yet. We do have this bounce here. I do wanna see price go higher. Uh, right now, this is going to be the current move. Let me let me go to the 15, and then I'll make my decision based off of that. So here we go. So yes, I believe we're going to go back up. 
we'll based off the 15 from where we're currently at. I'm gonna say from here. And we'll probably reach. Let me make sure this is visible on the higher up on the hour. Yeah, I believe we'll be back in this range here, right here. So that'll be a 2% gain. If we could get higher than that, that's even better. We do have some resistance right here with this flat cloud. So I am going to watch that. But right now, the range, the targets that I'm looking at is right here and right here. So these are my targets right now. Now, if we manage to get back up here, that, that'll be even better. So this is the range that I'm looking at right now. Just for now, just for the meantime. So I'm gonna mark my target levels. Right there, right here. And then the final one will be up in here. Maybe even here, but right here is fine. This is my range that I'm looking at as far as where I see the price going. Now, if we don't get above this, if we don't get above this, listen here, if we don't get above this current level, this flat cloud, expect it prices, you know, come back down to 19 cents right here. So that's my analysis for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe, let me know your thoughts. Stay tuned for the next video. And if you like this video, please share it, like it, and subscribe. It's a blessing to me, and I hope I blessed you guys with this video. All right, stay tuned for the next. God bless you guys. Peace.